Amiga love to start the new year with a bang. Last year, in 2020, they released the Amiga Speedmaster Moonwatch Caliber 321, Ed White, on the first Speedy Tuesday of the year. What did they do with the first Speedy Tuesday of 2021? Well, they announced eight new Speedmaster references, all sporting new movements and a host of other updates. That is a big bombshell for the first week of the year. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at three key new references from within this latest release, specifically the Sapphire and Heslite references in Stainless Steel and the all-new Sedna Gold Speedy on Bracelet. Before we get into it, make sure you give this video the thumbs up as well as hit subscribe to Time and Tide if you like what we're doing with the channel. Firstly, let's take a look at the two new Stainless Steel references on Bracelet, focusing on what they've got in common before looking at their differences. Amiga have continued down their path of evolution rather than revolution, with both watches having the same 42mm stainless steel case. The previous expression of this famous moon watch had the same case diameter, but a slightly longer lug-to-lug -lug measurement, which will make the 2021 references wear ever so slightly smaller and are likely to be more comfortable on most wrists. Interestingly, both versions are also thinner than their predecessors. Well played Amiga. Very well played. They also feature black aluminium tachymeter bezels with the all-important dot over 90 that is a quiet nod to the pre-1970s Speedmaster references. The pushes look a little shorter and wider than the previous generation, but you still get the attractively sweeping liar lugs that are clear for all to see thanks to some razor-sharp case lines. The dials of these two new steel references have been updated with a step down to the minute track and into the trio of subdials that have been finished with a great matte black. They've also both had their minute tracks updated, featuring two hashes between each minute mark instead of the four hashes that made the previous dials look a little busy in comparison. Powering these two new steel speedies is the same calibre that has been used across all of the new references in 2021, the in-house Amiga Calibre 3861. This manually wound chronograph features a coaxial escapement in an expansion of the legacy of George Daniels, a free-sprung balance and an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. This specific movement was first seen in 2019 in the gold and steel versions of the Apollo 11 50th anniversary watches, and then again in 2020 in the Silver Snoopy Award 50th anniversary. Now, with the rollout of the Calibre 3861 across the traditional steel Speedmaster, it spells the end of the previous generation, Calibre 1861. With this new movement, it's also the first time that a Speedmaster is getting a certified master chronometer approved by Metas inside it. And if that wasn't enough, the power reserve has also been increased slightly. The final significant update is the new bracelet that looks really, really nice in the metal. The biggest change against the older generation of bracelet is how it tapers from the lugs to the clasp. The taper is dramatic, narrowing from a lug width of 20mm down to 15mm at the clasp and makes the watch feel a lot more refined on the wrist. The new clasp features the Amiga logo and a twin button release which feels secure and is easy to use. We first saw this bracelet on the Apollo 11 50th anniversary watch in Moonshine Gold and we're excited to see it go into standard production. Despite sharing a lot of the same hardware, these two new steel speedies have a couple of differences, namely in what they have covering the dial. True to the history of the modern Speedmaster, Amiga is offering both a Heslite as well as Sapphire Crystal version, catering to the diehard enthusiast and the modern watch buyer who's happy to have the latest in contemporary watchmaking. While it's a little tough to tell the difference with a glance across the room, if you hold them side by side, you can see the Heslite is slightly more domed than the Sapphire Crystal, which is more boxy. It isn't much, but if somebody quizzes you at your next get-together, that's one thing you can look out for. Another difference between the two stainless steel references is the case back, with the Heslite version featuring a closed case back that's been engraved, and the Sapphire version having an exhibition case back that offers a fantastic view of the new Calibre 3861. The Heslite reference also features a painted Amiga logo on the dial, while the Sapphire Crystal version has an applied logo at 12 o'clock. The final significant difference between the two is the bracelet, which features two rows of nicely polished center links on the reference with Sapphire Crystal, while the Heslite version has a bracelet that is entirely brushed. 
another small point of difference you can keep your eyes open for out in the wild. Turning our attention now to the Sedna Gold reference, and we have one seriously cool Speedmaster. This isn't likely to be your first Speedy, but might be something that really gets your heart racing if you've spent some time in the orbit of Moonwatchers before. Unsurprisingly, the first impression you're likely to have when you pick one up is just how heavy it is. The solid Sedna Gold case and bracelet help it tip the scales at a whopping 218 grams, compared to the steel versions weighing in at about 138 grams. Other than the case and bracelet material, it's a spec sheet that runs relatively similar to the stainless steel and sapphire reference, with an exhibition case back showing off the well-finished movement within, and the same black aluminium bezel, as well as the fresh bracelet design. The only slight difference is the Sedna Gold reference has an entirely brushed bracelet too, without the rows of polished center links. All considered, this is the most significant update to the Amiga Speedmaster in decades, and marks a major moment in the slow evolution of the Moonwatch collection. With the new caliber being one of the most technically advanced, manually wound chronograph movements in current production, a more ergonomic design for the bracelet, and a slightly more compact case, Amiga has made improvements in all the right places. But despite those changes, the collection has lost none of its space flight approved DNA that made it a watch that is as important as it is popular. Now to pricing and availability. The Amiga Speedmaster Moonwatch Professional Coaxial Master Chronometer Chronograph 42mm with Hesselite over the dial is $9,575 Australian dollars. The version with Sapphire Crystal has an RRP of $10,900 Australian dollars. And finally, the Sedna Gold reference is $53,150 Australian dollars and is only available from Amiga Boutiques. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below what you think of the new Amiga Speedmaster family. Are you happy with the changes or is there something you would have liked to see? Let us know and see you next time.